Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Stupid piece of crap. <laughs> Son of a monkey's uncle. It's the sunglasses. I lost my sunglasses, and this is what happens. Yeah, it's really not supposed to sound like that. Okay, so this thing uh, has some gears that are pretty torn up on it, but it should pop all the way in to my um, we call this thing um, flywheel should pop all the way into the flywheel and spin the flywheel. Right now I'm not getting anything. Not getting anything down here. The flywheel's got a little bit of a chewed up worn mess on it, just the same as these do, but I don't think that these are horrible. Feels like everything can still slide into place. I need to try and figure out why it's not turning. My guess is I didn't have enough power to spin it. So, I'm thinking that what I have here is a battery issue and not necessarily a starter issue. If my battery isn't fully charged, I might not be getting enough power to actually kick this little clutch out and into my, um, my, I am so bad with these things. The, the, uh, the flywheel. So, uh, if this clutch doesn't kick out, if it doesn't spin fast enough, it's not going to kick out and hit the flywheel. That could be what I'm experiencing. I could be experiencing uh, this slipping and not and, and not coming out because uh, the battery on the tractor might be too low. I'm just going to check a couple wires, but I think that's going to be my problem. I wanted to inspect the gears and just see how things were going. Uh, the other thing I could do is pull the truck over hook up the jumper cables and turn it just to see what happens. I might do that before I go through the trouble of putting this back in. So at this point, I have uh, been working on filing down some burrs and things on the starter itself. I uh, went into the, the tractor and I removed the spark plugs, put some penetrating oil down in there, and even because I couldn't get the flywheel to really turn even with the clutch fully compressed, uh, after I did put some uh, penetrating oil down the plugs, I was able to get it to budge. So I'm not sure that that's a problem, but I wanted to make sure that if there's anything binding up, I noticed the tractor was low on oil, so I, I topped off the oil. It didn't take a lot of oil, so I, I don't know what, if, if anything, there if there was an issue there, but I just want to make sure that the flywheel is going to be able to spin uh, freely with this. I'm not sure, you know, what is 
going on with this. The burrs could have been keeping this from fully engaging the flywheel because it needs to be able to shoot in and hit the flywheel and spin the flywheel. I have heard of other people having an issue with the with there being low uh, power. I hooked the, the charger up. I tried jumping the tractor off of the, the truck um, and I didn't have any success with that. I hooked this up, grounded it, and it looked like this was moving in and out fine. Um, what I am, what I did do is I checked the battery. It said about 76% on the tractor. So I've got the battery on a charger right now. I'm going to just try and clean up any more burrs that I can on this the best I can, and then take a lunch break, put this in, and hopefully, well, I'm gonna put this in and then take a lunch break. But hopefully by adding a little more of a charge to the battery, that'll help. But I haven't had, it's, it's very difficult to file this thing down. And I, and I feel like, I feel like it should be able to engage. I mean, just from looking at this, it looks like it would fire in at least a half an inch to the flywheel and spin, but something's not engaging there or this isn't having enough power to turn the flywheel or there's just there's something weird going on. So we'll try the battery. I mean, it, it could be a power issue and You know, I, I don't know what else I could do on this. It, it seems like, it seems like it has enough power, uh, or it, it seems like it's, it's engaging. It's just not, I don't know. It's almost like it's not going into the flywheel and turning it. Okay, it's still charging, but uh, the battery's up to about 90%, where as before it was down around 76%. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a whirl and see if it'll turn over. did it's running I'm not gonna turn it off at this point in time that would be stupid of me uh, basically I took the starter itself apart I looked at all the internal components of it I cleaned some areas it looks to me like uh, it's just starting to rust up on the inside it's starting to have some issues if the connectivity of that isn't right it's not going to fully engage into the uh, flywheel of the tractor because it depends on a magnet to slam down and push the gear forward. Uh, if that magnet does not have good connectivity and it sees any resistance going into the flywheel, it's not going to press it in and, it, and that's when you get something that's just popping around, just skipping and, and not going in. And I think that's part of my problem. So, the tractor probably needs a starter, but I went through all that because it's the weekend. I've got to tether hay. I don't have time to go wait for a starter to come in the mail, so I had to do something to get that thing running. I took that thing apart, messed around with it, put it back together again, got it running. I'm going to go tether my fields. I just need to put on some shoes. 